thought of landing at the Red Mile was making me sick. Now that we're here, I'm almost at a loss. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. participate in blood sports can possibly be considered celebrities or heroes. Oh, in my mind, they're worse than criminals. Come on, sit. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Wait, Autumn has friends. Like hell. The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. That's exactly what this meeting is about. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking, exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? Really going to take on the mile, huh? Any troubles you need to share? Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Sorry, friend. Ah, 
A new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from our patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Mission or not, I can't even imagine why you'd take part in such an uncivilized activity. There's always a better way. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Excuse me. Anything on your scanner?
side of my boat if you keep trying to string up a conversation. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Yes, what? You made it. You're back. Are you okay? And here I was feeling like a nervous wreck the whole time. <laughs> Guess I had nothing to worry about. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. Well done. Hello. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, Runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. One thing's certain, Graziani certainly isn't afraid to flaunt his wealth. Better behave while you're in here. These pieces on display are incredible. They belong in a museum. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks.
Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. I'm willing to bet this deputy can handle whatever you intend to throw in our path. And who might you be? Sarah. Sarah Morgan. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard, Sarah. It's clear you are a woman of refinement as well as beauty. How about we skip the compliments and move things along, shall we? Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? If being in the First Cavalry taught me anything, it's that blind loyalty gets you killed. Time you learn the same.
Switching to a new target. Rangers are some hard-blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. 